Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley. This is part of a crash course from Framer, a tool for designing and prototyping projects. On this video, we're going to learn about states. It says allow you to define the different appearance options of a layer. A layer can have multiple states, each with a different set of properties. You can then cycle through states and you can even add animations. Really awesome stuff. Let's get started. The states allow you to define different appearance options of a layer. A layer can have multiple states, each with a different set of properties. The states can then be cycled through or activated with an event with an animation. Think of states as a different way to manage multiple animations. Here I have a photo of Kanye West and I activated a trigger here on the layers list. And then here on the code panel, I created three different states of Kanye. Then after that, I added an event that on click, it cycles through those states. We're gonna learn to do this in a little bit. Let's see how it looks. Kanye is not amused. Let's create a simple state. Here I have a rectangle in an artboard, and I first want to create a target here on the layers list. That way I can use it on the code. And now I can go to the code panel, and now I can start adding a state here. There are two ways I can add a state. I just start writing the name of the layer, which is called layer, and then dot states, and then add a name to the state. For example, grow. Then I add a equal sign, and now I can start adding the different properties of this specific state called grow. For example, I'm going to add a scale, so it changes the scale to uh, 1.5. And there you go. We just added a state called grow that grows to a scale of 1.5. Another easy way to add a state is here on the layers panel, just clicking here and then say add state. And here it just gives you a snippet code of what you're going to need. Layer.states.a. By default, it named it A, but we can change that later. Let's just start changing the scale of it. So instead of 1, I'm going to say 1.5. And we can see it here changing. And we can use here auto code to make these changes, or we can actually make those changes right here on the canvas. So we can make them bigger or smaller. I'm going to keep it like that. I'm also going to change the color of it. So I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to make it a yellow. I'm going to change the name of this state to grow instead of A, which is the default. And now nothing is happening right now. The state is not being activated by anything. So what we can do is add an animation to it. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say layer, just the name of the layer dot animate. And then in parentheses, I'm going to put the name of the state, which is going to say grow. And now it grows because the layer is being animated. If I reload this, I can see the animation. Oftentimes, you want to have multiple states for the same object, and maybe cycle through them or activate a specific state with an event. Let's learn how to add multiple states and switch between them. In this example, I have a box here. I call it box, and now I'm going to create a target. And I want to have multiple states and cycle through them. So I'm going to go to the code, because I already added a target, and here, I'm just going to write the name of the layer, which is called box, and then states. And then here, I'm going to add the equal sign, and then I'm going to start adding my states. So I'm going to name my first state as one, and then I'm going to start putting the properties of the one state. So I'm going to say that the scale goes up to 1.5, and probably it rotates 15 degrees, now I'm going to add another state. I'm going to tap here, and I'm going to call this one two. And I'm going to start adding properties. Probably the scale, it goes all the way down to 0.75, and it rotates in negative 15 degrees. Let's add a third state. This one scale goes back to one, and probably rotates to zero. 
Great, I just created three states for this box, but nothing is activating it. So what I want to do is add an event. I'm going to write the name of the layer. Then I'm going to say that on tap, an event happens. So I'm going to say that box, it cycles through the state. So state cycle. And then in the parentheses, I'm going to put the names of the different states. So I'm going to put one, comma, two, comma, three. So now, when I tap this element, it should go through these states. Let's test it. There you go. Additionally, I can add animation options to this state cycle. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to say that box dot animation options, all the way here, I'm going to add an equal sign. I'm going to say, I'm going to change the curve of the animation. I'm going to change it to a spring. I'm going to set that the damping is probably 0 0.5. It's going to be a little bit faster now. There you go. Now it's a spring and it's bouncy and it's a little bit faster. All of these states, I wrote them, but I can also go and use autocode by pressing here on this icon and then make any changes to this state whenever I want to. I can also do it here in the canvas. I can just rotate it. For example, let's change the corner radius of it. And let's say that the color changes too. And now let's test it. It goes to yellow. The problem is that since the other states are not defining the border radius or the background color, then the other states inherit the one from this one, the yellow one, because I'm cycling through them. If I want to go back to the white color, then I have to, on these states, say that the background color is going to be RGBA 255, 255, 255, and opacity 1. Let's see if it changes that to 1, to white. There you go. It changed it back to white here on the state 1. I want this one to also have the white background color. You can just copy and paste it. So now only one state has a yellow color. This is just an example of how to cycle through states, but we're going to learn how to activate specific states with different events.